The upcoming Euro, Euro round, which is uh, so two weeks after our, our last race we had here and then two weeks before the World Cup's right in the middle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good opportunity to get some international competition. Um, we're, we're splitting our, our squad as to who's going and who's not going because it's, it's not like the only thing that they need to do. Um, and sometimes you can sacrifice um, you know, some of your development work that you need to be doing, which is at home by traveling away and going to the competition. So I think you, know, you need to be at a, a decent level and a good standard to sort of capitalize on the race experience. Um, so, you know, the couple of academy guys that have been performing a little better than some of the others are going to France because the race experience is, you know, it, it, it's an important aspect. Uh, and for the other guys, you know, we've got a bit more homework to be done really. So, yeah, we've split the squad in that way. Um, and so the others will stay home and continue to work hard and look for those little extra bits of uh, uh, progression before the World Cup. I think in the European circuit, it, it changes from, from year to year, really. Sometimes America's the place to be, everybody's gone to the States. And then you looked at like the world champion Magali came from, from France and, you know, myself and, and Letitia, you know, all, and then you looked at like, I mean, even Ankara when she won in 2008, Europe was the place where it was at. And then the kind of ch it's kind of changed slightly where, where for like the Americans, like Caroline Buchanan's racing there and Mariana's, she's gone to, to the States. So then there's a good pocket of girls there. But at the same time, Europe's, you know, got equally just as fast riders. Um, but it just, yeah, it just changes slightly year to year.